Let's do a quick example. So here are a pair of vectors, u and v. I know I used v and w over there. Um, mostly because, I don't know, when I'm writing by hand u and v, they end up looking pretty similar, and then, and then this formula gets extra confusing. But that's okay, we can, we can adapt the formula if we change the names of our vectors, right? We use lots of different names. Um, so u cross v, what does it look like? Well, it's going to be in the first spot here, right? It's going to be um, u2 v3. So it's going to be u2 v3 minus u3 v2. Okay, so it means these two here. So minus 1 times 5, subtract 4 times 2. Okay, that's the first spot. And then we're going to do, the next spot is going to be u3, hang on, um, move that down a little bit. So the next one is, oh, let me do it first. Okay, so it's going to be uh, 4 times 3 minus 2 times 5. That's going to be the next one. So what is this one? It's u3 v1 minus u1 v3. Right, so we're doing now um, this one here minus that one there. Okay. And the last entry is going to be 2 times 2 minus, minus 1 times 3. Okay, so that is u1 v2 minus u2 v1. That's what goes in the last spot there. Uh, okay, so let's do the arithmetic and work out what do we actually have here. So u cross v, when we clean it all up, minus 8 minus 5, minus 13. Uh, 12 minus 10 is 2, and then 4 plus 3 is... 7. Okay, so that's my cross product, minus 13, 2, 7. And let's check that this actually does the job. Let's make sure that it, it works as advertised. Um, if I do u dotted with u cross v, I'm going to get uh, 2 times minus 13, minus 1 times 2, plus 4 times 7. So that is minus 26 minus 2 gets me to minus 28 plus 28. I get 0. Um, and by the way, it's always a good idea to kind of, you know, like dot products don't take very long to calculate. With a bit of practice, you can do them pretty quickly. And it is really, I think, worth it to do this as a check. All right, just to make sure that you haven't messed anything up, because the you know the cross product formula it's it's kind of it's complicated, right? It's messy. Um, we're going to see there there's a way to kind of simplify this. That's going to be the next video. We're going to show kind of a, a way of remembering the cross product that really helps. But even then, uh, there are lots of places where you can make a mistake. And, and so this is a pretty good check to make sure you haven't made any errors. Um, so let's see, minus 39 plus 4 plus 35. So 4 plus 35 is plus 39, minus 39. Yeah, checks out. We get 0 for both of those, right? And so if both of those dot products come out to be 0, you can be, I would say, 100% confident that you've done the job correctly.